everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. So today we are going to talk about how do we practice shot consistency when we don't have something like Specto to tell us how consistent our abilities are. Um, I've got a method that I use which you know honestly I feel gives me a pretty good read on exactly how my consistency is and uh, yeah it's pretty simple. It requires a little bit of tape, permission from the bowling alley owner of course, and yeah anyway. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take some masking tape. Now it's important that you definitely use masking tape and you don't try and use any other type of tape that's got at least more sticky to the adhesive because you want to be able to get the tape off the lane once you go to remove it. So I just use some straightforward blue masking tape. It's easy to see from the foul line. So what I do is I take that tape and I go down and I mark out the five board and the 15 board. The 10 board in some bowling centers has already been marked if they've got the range finders down lane. And actually, so is the 15 board, but the 15 board range finder is a lot closer to the foul line than I would like it. So what I do is I mark out the 15 board towards the break point I'm trying to hit. So I mark out those three boards because those are essentially the three zones of the lane that you have a tendency to have to play when you're on a tougher condition. You know, the five board for those shorter conditions, the 10 board for those medium conditions, and the 15 board for the longer conditions. And then after I mark those out, what I do is I practice standing in different areas on the approach. So I usually start about the 25th board on the approach, and I try and hit five, 10, and 15 from that spot on the approach. And while I'm doing this, I'm actually trying to visualize the shot. So I draw an imaginary line from the break point through the arrows to the foul line, and I try and hit that line. And then once I hit those lines successfully two to three times, you know, and I'm within, I would say a board or two of accuracy, then I move my feet five boards to the left. So I go from 25 to 30 and I do the whole process over. And then I go from 30 to 35 and I do the whole process over. Again, this is forcing me to practice my angles because as I move further left, my angles are going to be open. Um, and what I'm noticing is as I practice this more and more, I have more trouble closing down my angles than I do opening my angles. Probably has more to do with my swing than anything. So I'm going to get my stuff inside and let's get that going. just what I've done here. Now because I've got permission from the bowling alley owner, um, he allows me to go down and basically put tape on different boards that I want to target as break points. So I put two blue strips of tape. I've got a blue strip at five and a blue strip at 15. And of course we've got the already marked brown board at 10. So that's going to help me learn how to target three different break points standing in the same spot on the approach.
All right, guys, thanks for joining me for today's practice. So that process I just did inside is, in my opinion, a very good process to follow when you're trying to practice shot consistency. Uh, sure, you could just rely on your eye to tell you whether or not you hit the line you're trying to hit, but as far as being able to see the break point, putting that blue masking tape out on the, on the lane really, really helps. At least it helps me. Um, like I said, some bowling alleys will have the rangefinders down lane, but again, if they do, they've only got the 10 board and the 15 board marked. They don't mark anything past that. So having that tape there really helps you visualize the shot a little bit better, or at least it does for me. So if your bowling alley operator gives you permission to do that, I do recommend it's something that you try. It definitely helps improve your shot consistency. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the league vlog.